Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's answer the question, why does a dielectric affect a capacitor? Before we can answer that question, we must assume we're going to go through these following steps. First of all, we're going to take a capacitor, we're going to connect it to a battery, we're going to allow the capacitor to be fully charged until no more charge flows on the capacitor, and then we're going to disconnect the battery so we have a fully charged capacitor. After we disconnect the capacitor, we're now going to insert a dielectric material with a constant typically greater than 1, a dielectric constant. If it's equal to 1, then we're in free space somewhere, not even air between the capacitor plates. So how does that affect the capacitor? Well, first of all, we need to realize that a dielectric material is made out of atoms and molecules, and typically those molecules tend to be polar in nature, just like a water molecule that has one oxygen and two hydrogens. So what happens is, since oxygen is more electronegative, it will pull that one electron that the hydrogen have onto itself, so this side of the molecule becomes more negatively charged. This side of the molecule, because of the absence of the electrons, will now become more positively charged. And you can see that that molecule water then becomes a polar molecule. It's more negative on one side, more positive on the other side. It's kind of like a dipole. And what happens then is, since all these molecules tend to be like that, when you now apply an electric field across it, which would be the case when you insert a dielectric into a capacitor that's already charged, then those molecules will be affected by this electric field. How will they be affected? Well, the molecules will tend to try to realign themselves in such a way that the negative end of the molecule points towards the positive charge over here, and the positive end of the molecule tends to point towards a negative charge. In the case of water, that works really well because water, of course, is not a solid substance, and the molecules can realign themselves in such a way that, and therefore, water becomes a very strong dielectric with a very large dielectric constant, around 80. So once the molecules realign themselves, they themselves then produce an electric field because we have a net result of negative charge on one side and positive charge on the other side. So that rearrangement of those molecules then produces what we call an induced, and this should be a U, an induced electric field, which is in the opposite direction of the initial electric field that was there in the first place which then means that the net electric field strength between the plates will actually drop. The magnitude of the net electric field will be equal to the magnitude of the original field minus the magnitude of the induced field. So now we have a net result of a weaker electric field. And that weaker electric field will cause less interaction between the charges on one side and the charges on the other side, less interaction well, that means when you try to push more charges onto a capacitor, there's less pushback, and so therefore the same amount of voltage should be able to load more charge onto the capacitor once there's a dielectric in there, which means more charge for over less voltage means a stronger, or not a stronger capacitor, but a bigger capacitor, one that has more capacitance. So let me write that out. So since the capacitance is equal to the charge divided by the voltage, since there's less repulsive forces as you're trying to push more charges onto the capacitor. So now we take this capacitor with the dielectric material, you reconnect it to a battery, the same voltage now tries to push charges on there, but it's going to push more charges on there because there's now less repulsive force between the negative charge on this side of the plate and the positive charge on this side of the plate. So the same battery with the same voltage can now push more charge onto the plate. More charge means a greater capacitance. And that is how and why a dielectric constant or a dielectric affects the way a capacitor works. And it does so in the terms of increasing the capacitance of a capacitor. And that's how it works.